Hey guys, Mac Kentucky Range Time. Back with another 8.6 blackout supersonic uh, gel block test. And this test is going to be focusing on the Barnes TTSX uh, tipped TSX bullet. This is the uh, 225 grain version of this bullet. Uh, we have previously tested the 160 grain, the 185 grain, and the 210 grain. And this is the heaviest uh, of the bullets, 338 diameter bullets that Barnes makes. They only make the four different weights. And this will complete uh, my test of all four of these different bullets in gel block. And I will be coming back at a later date and starting to work up some accuracy loads uh, with this particular bullet. And, uh, and then we'll, we'll see what kind of accuracy we can, we can also develop with these uh, out of the arrow precision uh, build with the ballistic vans barrel that I've got. So, uh, all right, let's get turned around here, take a quick look at the loading, and then we'll head on out to the range. All right, so here's a quick look at the loading for this. Uh, accurate 1680 powder to the tune of 27.3 grains. Uh, the Barnes TTSX bullets and CCI primers. Brass for this loading is uh, Gorilla Manufacturing Brass. And uh, there's a look at the head stamp on those. And here is a good look at the bullet and how much of it is seated down in this case. Pretty good chunk of copper down in there. And I also, in uh, previous loads, I've been loading 6.5 Creed Hornady head stamp converted brass. And I have picked up a batch of uh, Starline 8.6 blackout brass that I will be using for load development uh, and accuracy testing. Uh, for these exact same rounds later in the fall once I get uh, get wrapped up with deer season and holidays. So stay tuned for those videos that will be coming out pretty soon as well. All right, guys, next up is the 8.6 Blackout Supersonic Load with the Barnes TTSX 225 grain uh, bullet, ballistic tip bullet. And uh, here's a good look at that. Big old chunk of, uh, of copper with polymer tip. And... Uh, Let's see if I can get this in the gel block down here. So in the 185 grain test with the Barnes CTSX, I was having to aim about an inch and a half above the uh, gel block to, to get it to hit in the center. So, and to do that and get it to run, run through true, I'm gonna have to squat down here beside the, uh, the bench just a little bit. And hopefully, the shooting position is not real friendly with the Garmin. Let's see what we can do here. All right, no velocity on the Garmin, but I do think we got a catch. Let's go check it out. All right, so we got a nice clean catch on this one. Um, here's the, the wind channel starting out, and you can see we had pretty explosive expansion on this bullet uh, almost immediately. Uh, huge, huge uh, permanent wound channel starting by two inches. You can see the rotation on this bullet with that 3R twist. This is uh, this copper fragments from, a, from the previous test bullet. You can see some pieces of ballistic tip in there. There's a few shards coming out. Uh, we moved past one of the other wound tracks here. We still got the spiral rotation into the second gel block, running right on back, and then it curves up just a little bit. And we're sitting out here with a total penetration of about 28 and a half inches. So let's go try one or two more of these in the gel block and uh, see if we can catch a velocity on them. All right, eight six blackout. Barnes 225 grain TTSX. Shot number two. Ah, velocity. All right. Velocity is 1784.6. We did get a good catch on that one too. And 
I think where I put it in there is a fairly clean area for the wound track. Let's go look at it. So here's where our wound track starts for this one. And we get full expansion within an inch and a half or two inches. We've got a nice big permanent wound channel opening up by about two and a half inches. The three R twist in this barrel is just just absolutely amazing. You can see this twist all the way down through here, all the way into the second gel block. And looks like we've got total penetration down here of about 27 and a half inches. And that is just a big old beautiful thing right there. So this good expansion, good penetration. Um, we are getting close to that point though with the TTSX bullets where our expansion is going to start to be questionable. So we'll have to go back and look at the ballistics chart and see what kind of distances we can get and expect this kind of expansion. All right, let's go back and do one more of these since we got everything set up. All right, eight six blackout, shot number three. We'll do this one in the gel block. And then if uh, we don't get a velocity, I'll do the next two into the backstop. The problem is picking a spot doesn't already have a giant wound track rolling through it. Let's see if I can do this. Well, I took out the Garmin, but it got the reading that time. 1811.8. Two shot average of 1799. Standard deviation of 13.6. Go check this one out. So our wind channel starts right here on this one and uh, looks like by about an inch, we've got our expansion uh, kicking up pretty good by two and a half to three inches. We've got a nice big permanent wind channel down through there. Uh, this thing has opened up and we've got the spiral rotations, this three R twist barrel going down through here. Pretty impressive. Uh, still got some spiral going right here, about 19, 20 inches into the last gel block. And we pretty much pushed straight line penetration down through here for the last eight or 10 inches. Uh, final penetration of 29 inches. There is a look at that bullet. That That is a beautiful thing right there. So if we can keep these uh, expansions uh, out enough to get us some good distance on these. This is gonna end up being a really good load. All right, back in the shop, and we got these dug out and cleaned up a little bit and uh, got some data on these. So this is uh, this is reminiscent of, uh, of some of the, the much heavier loads that we've been getting um, in, the, in the subsonic loadings. Um, we've got four pedals opened up here, nice and large, and uh, Nice expansion. Uh, average expansion on this was 0.928 uh, across all three of these rounds, and that is 174% uh, of the original 338 diameter. Uh, weight retention was 222.7 grains, so just under two and a half grains. So we, we kept almost all of our weight on here. Uh, I'm guessing the ballistic tip is probably about two and a half grains. So other than this one bullet here, uh, which we, we shed part of a pedal, uh, we had almost 100% weight retention on these, and that's a pretty good number. So all right, guys, Barnes TTSX in the 225 grain. Now, this is the heaviest uh, of these 338 all-copper bullets that Barnes makes, and... Uh, Velocity on this was like 1,805 foot per second. Average penetration was just over 28 inches, and we had some really, really nice expansion. Uh, on the surface, that looks really good, but using the data from Barnes, uh, that anything over 1,700 foot per second is gonna give us 1.7 time expansion, um, we're not very far off from that. Uh, that's, that's right at 100 yards or a little bit less on the ballistic chart. So if we get expansion under 1,700 foot per second, then 
this bullet's going to have a little bit of legs. But if, if that is a hard and true number, then we're going to be limited on range for this bullet. So a good brush bullet for 100 yard shots, yes. Uh, anything much farther out, then we probably want to go with something lighter uh, in these all coppers, uh, especially in the barns, especially after seeing the results we've got from the 185 grain. Uh, and, and the distance that we could take it out and still still expect uh, reasonable expansion on that. So, uh, all right, guys, any questions, please leave them in the comments. And thanks for watching. As always, if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button and check out my link tree. I've got over 50 affiliate companies, um, most major industry companies for manufacturing and ammunition. Uh, you know, I've got Hodgson powder on there. I've got shields. I've got Nash's. Um, Mid-South Shooting Supply, Brownells, uh, Sig Sauer, Magpul, just there's over 50 different companies on there that I have as affiliate partners. And anytime you go to my link tree and click on any of those tabs for any of those partners, uh, that records uh, that you have, have, have originated your visit from my page. And if you purchase anything while you're there, uh, I'll end up getting a small commission on that. And that is what I use to pay for the bullets and the powder and all the things that, that keep me going here on the page. So that, that helps cover my cost. So if you get a chance, check out those. And if you shop those regularly, uh, please remember to go back and, and originate from my link tree and then hit those. Or you can, you can actually save the link to my link tree and create a shortcut. That'd be awesome too. Uh, feel free to share this content anytime you'd like uh, on any of the social media pages. Uh, I know there's especially reloading groups for 86 Blackout. Uh, feel free to share links to these videos there if you like. And, uh, and guys, I just appreciate everything. Uh, the page has grown a lot here in the last six or eight months, and it's all because of you guys. And I appreciate the likes and the comments and the feedback. And that changes the algorithm and makes everything better. So, all right, guys. Matt from Kentucky Ranks Time. We'll catch you on the next one.